The Punta Gorda Radioactive Fountain of You is one of many bodies of water that claim to be the one that Ponce de Leon was searching on his exploration of Florida. The first records about the fountain are from 1894. The concrete block that you see today was built in 1926. Each of the four sides feature a picture of a ship, a tribute to Ponce de Leon. During its most popular period, the Artesian well drew such long lines of tourists that the fountain handle had to be replaced every six months, and the city mounted a collection drive to pay. In 1983, the water was tested and revealed high amounts of radium, a radioactive material. As a result, in 1986, the city council plugged the well, moving the fountain and hooked it up to city water. But locals fought back and restored the fountain to its former glory. The only difference is the sign that warns people of the radioactive content of the water. Still some people drink from it or collect water to bring home. The water also contains high quantities of magnesium, a mineral known for keeping the cardiovascular system in good health. Do you know anything about that, that the fountain? People used to drink that for years and years and years. Yeah. People used to come up here with water jugs all the time. Really? Yeah, like if you know it's natural and stuff, I don't know. Nobody does anymore. Yeah, it says something about radiation yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. There's a <laughs> radon, I think. Yeah, it smells like uh, sulfur. Or well, it's gonna smell like sulfur. When it's just gonna go. Yeah. So they dig, they dig it up. It's a, yeah, it's just sunk straight down. So oh. It's a natural well. The fountain sits close to the location of Hotel Punta Gorda, also new as Charlotte Harbor Spa. Having several pools using the water from the same aquifer as the fountain, the hotel grew in popularity for this fact. The hotel fell into disrepair and finally burned down in 1959. Only the historical marker remains.